Well, first, if you ask if you ask them questions about consumption, they're going to say that they would you know, often they would say they would like to consume more. But if you ask them questions about would you like to spend more time with your family or more time with your friends or doing your hobbies, they would also say I'd like to do more of those. And the problem in our society, I think, is that we've we've got a, an, an imbalance between what we do as consumers and how we value those, and what we do as citizens or as friends or as fathers and as mothers and how we value those. Um, and I think we have to try to, to try and rebalance those things. And that what was quite strange in the industrialised countries like Norway, you know, uh, like the UK and the rest of Europe, is that we have increased productivity. We have opportunities now to live richer lives, more times with our family, more times with our friends, more times doing the things that are fun. And yet, instead of that, we're spending more and more of our working time, more and more of our time working, and trying to get more money so we can consume more goods. So we're seeing value, happiness and worth in consumption even though quite a few of us are quite uncomfortable with that. You know, many of us actually would like to think, I'd like, love to spend more time with my children. We, but we, we, we find it difficult to get that balance. So society is driving towards the consumption side and is ignoring our, our role as citizens. And I think it's the job of us, of us as individuals, but also as policymakers, to try to get some rebalance in our society, to recognise the real values in society and not about do we always have a bigger, newer car or a new fridge or a new com commodity or a new, new gadget, but actually do we have richer times living with our family, our friends, and, and, and having fun? And if we could rebalance those, that would only not only be good for us sort of socially and psychologically, but also be very good in terms of our, you know, our climate change emissions, in terms of carbon dioxide, but also in terms of broader sustainability concerns. I, mean, I don't really think there are many win-win opportunities, but to rebalance between consumption and citizens, I think is a, is a real win-win opportunity.